remain standing this morning as I read from God's Word, the book of Hebrews. We continue in our series from this wonderful epistle that is given to the church in every age that we might be instructed, especially as to how it is that Jesus Christ has fulfilled the office of our great high priest, how he has manifested salvation among us and the nations, and is even now the one who will return to gather us to himself. Hebrews chapter 9, I'll be reading in our beginning in verse 15, and I'll read uh, to the end of the chapter, verse 28. Hebrews chapter 9, beginning in verse 15. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. Since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant, for where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Therefore, not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment of the law had been declared by Moses to all the people, he took the blood of calves and goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book itself and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that God commanded for you. And in the same way, he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law, almost everything is purified with blood. <clears throat> 